Hi Pisces, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, Pisces, your readings are timeless, and all 12 of the zodiac sign readings, they're all for you. So go by the titles that you like, go by the timestamps, titles. Something about titles? Something about titles. Are you concerned about your title? Like your status? Is it your professional status? Is it your relationship status? Is it, what is it? What's going on, Pisces? Um, I'm gonna use the Everyday Witches tarot for you today. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, but it feels correct. This is uh, the deck that I started my my channel on. Um, so it, it there is something, there's something to that as well. Um, what you started with, the main idea of why you started doing something, you started a career, you started looking for love, you started your spiritual journey. Why did you start? Going back to kind of the basics with that, when I was doing your Shuffle Mancy, um, you had that song In Bloom come on. It's um, originally a Nirvana song, but there's an artist called Sturgill Simpson. I'll link it in the cards around my head um, at the end of your video. Um, and he does a cover of it, which makes it sound so much more beautiful, um, so much more magical, in, in my opinion. Um, and there is something about that. In Bloom. You're in bloom. Pisces, um, you look at like a rose, right? It sprouts and, it, and it's still kind of closed. And for it to bloom, there there is like a process to it. And there's something about the status that you're not open yet or that you're not established or you don't have that title or the stability. It's something about the, the transition between the sprout and the blossom that seems to be causing you some kind of discomfort in in some aspect right and it's like my ears are itchy and it's almost like you don't want to hear that like you don't want to hear that you're still in a transition process like you just want to be there already and you had that blue and yellow song come up which has been coming up from time to time by the used um uh and there's there's a line in it that goes uh should have done something but i've done it enough by the way your hands were shaking rather waste some time with you right and, and there is something in that for you pisces that you're like should have done something like you're still asking me to do stuff but like i've done it enough like i've already done the work i've already invested in this like i've already put in my time so like where are my flowers right where is the bloom kind of thing right um it just feels like i'm i'm using up time i'm, I'm wasting time but i'm also hearing it's kind of like a rocket ship like prepare to launch like prepare for liftoff and if you look at a rocket even though it's stationary it starts to shake and move right before it actually kind of starts to ascend so there is something about that turbulence it's like your frustration is like almost like creating some kind of turbulence inside of you but you really are about to like launch up but there there also is this energy of like the divine wanting to like spend some extra time with you like before you launch into this new season before you get into a relationship before your business takes off before you get a promotion so that way you know what to do when it happens. Does that make sense? So that way you know what to do when you get there. So that way you're not there, shell-shocked, holy shit, it actually happened. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what to do. And now you're freaking out. You're asking for guidance and instructions. You could get the instructions right now. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense for you. So I'm already having cards fly out for you, Pisces. So let's pray. And we'll, we'll look into these. Yep. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Pisces in today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Pisces highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Pisces. So, first two cards that you have out is you have judgment and the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is how you're feeling. This is how you're feeling. Um, I'm also hearing from a 10 to a 2. From a 10 to a 2. Maybe you were feeling like a 10. And then you started feeling like a 2. Right? Like you were like really excited. Really enthusiastic. Like really hopeful. And then all of a sudden it felt like the wheel wasn't turning in your favor. And all of a sudden like you fell out of positive judgment. Like there was a bad judgment call. Like um, you got looked over for something. The divine forgot about you. Like you're, you're paying, this came up in Virgo's reading too. You're like paying some kind of karma that you didn't know you had like incurred. Like it, it's that kind of energy. Like you were feeling really hopeful and excited. You're like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm blooming. And then all of a sudden it was like, womp, womp. And like everything, like your momentum kind of stopped and you started feeling like it too. So there is something about that. Really wondering like, 
why that happened. Now, you do have the Nine of Cups coming out next. So it's about your personal wish fulfillment. It looks like you're sitting on this sand. It's almost like you're you're waiting, right? It's like you're here and you're like, I'm meditating. Do you see me meditating? <laughs> you have all of these cups behind you. It's like, I, I set everything up. I did, I did my homework, like I ate my vegetables, like I have all these cups sitting up, like I guess I'll just, I'll sit here and I'll just meditate and I'll just wait because it feels like the water, like waiting for the water, like the next wave for you to ride to like come in, waiting for the next wave to ride to come in, just like patiently trying to wait, like it is a very hopeful energy, but it is like very confused. And I'm noticing that like the water is coming up to shore like around you but it's not really touching you. So you might be like seeing other people around you, maybe on social media, people in the same industry, friends, family, whatever it may be. And, and they may be getting the things that you want, the momentum, the success, the titles, the money, um, the movement, the relationships, whatever it is. And it's like, you're so close to it. And it might feel like the universe is like torturing you like a little bit. You're like, it's literally so close that I could touch it. Like, everyone else around me is, like, experiencing the things that I want. Like, I'm trying to sit here. I got everything ready for you to fill up these cups. Like, I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to meditate my way through this. But, and for some of you, this is luck because the Two of Cups is coming out, right? Um, there is an energy of feeling, like, a little bit alone in your process as well. Um, this could be, like, you just being very kind of single and really craving like emotional intimacy, emotional intimacy. Hmm. 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 Hold please for production for a moment. There's a big patience energy, but it feels like you're kind of tired. Feels like you're tired of being patient because if I wanted to add these, nine plus two is 11. Uh, after the Ten of Cups, the 11th card would be the page, right? Which is that student energy. It's like trying to take on new mindsets, trying to be like open, trying to still have gratitude and like appreciation for the process. But um, it, even if it's uh, like you're single and you're just feeling kind of lonely and it's like you just can't help it, right? Or if it's just you in terms of your work, like you're just working a lot. So you don't have a lot of time, right? To spend with other people. So you're like craving companionship or being social or um just feeling alone in your spiritual process like maybe you see a lot of people right like me or like spiritual leaders or teachers or readers or people around you but not feeling like that close like intimate and y'all can always email me you know that you guys email me all the time and you're more than welcome to do so but just like feeling alone like in your spiritual journey like there is this like loneliness kind of thing but still being like okay like all right again taking that page energy like i know i don't know any everything like i know that like I, some things i'm not gonna understand like lean not on my own understanding like all right like i'll just pray on it some more like i'll just meditate it on some more and really kind of scouring your your mind like trying to figure out if like you did something wrong so you did something wrong that things aren't moving for you or if you're uh, intentionally being teased or or triggered or tortured because people around you seem to be experiencing the things that like you're really wanting you're really wanting and and i often find that if you see people around you um in your personal life in your industry in your field whatever it might be and it feels like they're getting the things that you want it's actually usually a really good sign that the blessing is close to you right it means like well if they'll do it if god will do it for the people sitting next to me over here if god will do it for the person who's in the same field as me doing the same exact job as me well and i can see it that that must mean that i'm close to it right and, and that's an energy that i have to even myself remind myself of uh occasionally there have been a lot of times in the past where i've felt a little bit jealous i i know i have got a lot of fire in my chart um and how to really kind of put that in in check and take more of that page energy right um so it, it actually probably is a good sign but it probably doesn't feel great but it also is a little bit of a test to see like can you be happy for people around you right like if they're getting the things that you want can you are you jealous or are you envious or can you still be kind of happy for them that even if it's not you that it's like it does exist and it is attainable right so it, it's just food for thought it's just food for thought you do have the king of swords with justice in reverse coming out this is really interesting to me because it feels to me as though the king of swords is very concerned about justice he's logic he's reason right he could be a lawyer or a judge um 
And 11s talk about alignment. And, and you know, Sierra has this sword and he's like pointing to this book. He's pointing to this book and I'm wondering if it's you kind of opening up like your own records, like your own deeds, your own things and kind of pointing at it to spirit and being like, hey, like, like, I know my truth. Like, I know what I've been doing. Like, something about this situation doesn't feel justified. Like, it feels like I'm kind of getting robbed over here. Like, it feels like it's out of alignment. Like, am I out of alignment? Is there something happen? Like, around me? Like, someone used their free will or shit happened or something Something happened that I'm, like, not aware of? Like, well, what's going on here? Like, I don't really understand. Like, there is something about that. I'm also wondering if this is an, ex I don't know yet, if this is an, the King of Swords is an external energy to you pointing this out to you, the cause of the imbalance or the cause of the injustice. Maybe it's divine timing, right? Like, this is, this is where you're at on the schedule, Pisces, right? It's not really an injustice. Not really. You're actually in alignment. You're just perceiving it as an injustice. Like you're being robbed from some kind of mobility that you're wanting to, but there's like an appointed season. Your season's right here and you're not discerning it. I'm just wondering which one it is. It, it could go either way. It could go either way. I'm wondering. Hmm. I, okay, I'll take this card. It seems like one. Three of Swords. Disappointed. Yeah. Hmm. And in this Three of Swords card, you see how there's like this journal on the bed and all that kind of stuff? It might be something that during the, like, the day in your everyday life, going to work, like you're still, again, you're, you have all your cups set up. You're still doing what you're supposed to be doing, but it's like at night when you're alone and like there's no one there and it's like the day comes like rushing in on you and you're thinking about it or maybe you're journaling about it. That's when it comes like a wave right? It's not like the wave of movement and blessings that you're hoping to hit you like in the daytime. It's like this wave of like grief. Is that the ice cream man? I feel like it's way too early for the ice cream man. Maybe, you know, put a pin in that because that might be something. Um, you do have the star coming out after that and the star represents healing it represents wishes things you hope for things you pray for especially related to like i consider it north node energy like your faded and your destined path um again at night it all comes kind of rushing in on you like the weight of your dreams like the weight of of these things that you've been praying for for so long um and again and that also might make you feel really isolated in your process of, of whatever it is and and exacerbating any kind of loneliness that you're having because there is this idea of putting on a a brave face putting on a brave face like for for the people not letting people know that like you may be disappointed or you may be struggling you may be having a hard time not wanting to be like vulnerable in in some aspects vulnerable in some kind of aspect hmm hmm but i'm just curious about this ice cream man that again you know it's, sometimes it's like when you least expect it things come in like it feels too early for the ice cream man but is it i don't know i don't know it's like a treat maybe they're gonna send you like a they're gonna throw you a bone to like pick your spirits up i'm wondering I wonder if they're going to throw you a little bone to pick your spirits up. Cheer you up in kind of like the meantime. In the meantime. And you know what's interesting? And I've had this deck for a long time. And I've never noticed it. In this star card, there's this little fish in the water. So it's the idea of like you constantly like swimming up, right? To like your wishes and your dreams and your prayers. You're like, is it ready yet? Like, are we there yet? Is it ready yet? And every time she's like looking down at the little fish and she's like no not yet and you're like disappointed and you're like okay like my little pisces i see i do though i'm gonna pull this i'm seeing the world card at the bottom and it feels like the world is wish fulfillment for you it's like to be able to like throw your hat and be like complete and know that like that old cycle is completed that old cycle is completed and you can like relax in like the new place and actually have like the water like just touch your feet and it almost feels like the longer that you're waiting Pisces the more you are compromising the vision like it used to be like I want this whole thing I want the whole world I and and the longer that it's taken or the longer you've had to wait or be patient it's almost like well compromising it like settling like oh 
I was waiting for this big wave to come in and rush me away, but I'd be happy with just like a little water on my feet, just to like dip my toe in a little bit. It's this idea of like retracting from the vision. Every time it's a no, it's not yet, Pisces, no, wait a little longer, Pisces, no, Pi not yet, be patient, Pisces. You're like, okay, okay. And it's just like settling it and, and shrinking, shrinking the ideal of the dream down. Like I just be happy with a date at this point. Like fuck true love. Like I just be happy with a date. Like I'd be happy with just like an extra client this week, or I'd be happy with just a little extra overtime. Like forget a promotion. That's kind of how it, it feels like, like this settling in, in what would be satisfaction for you. Even that would be a relief, right? With the throwing the hat in the air. But I don't love that. I don't love that. I do see the chariot card coming out next, but it, it almost feels like a like escapism, like escapism, right? It's like the easiest way is just through these pillars, right? It's almost like two wands through the path that you've already chosen, but feeling as though perhaps maybe taking like an exit route on either side may be better for you. Well, maybe just, uh, maybe just like a piece of the pie instead of the whole pie. Like, well, maybe I'll just go back to what I was doing before. Man, maybe I'll just figure out a plan B. Like, I don't know. Maybe if it's taking so long, like maybe I'll just find something else to do. Like maybe I'll just, just stay single. Like maybe I'll just stop trying. Like maybe, right. It's like taking like a detour. Like maybe I should just try something else because the chariot should be really fun and exciting and like, oh my God, we're going, but she just looks confused. She just looks really confused. And it's interesting because I'm putting her next to the star card too. Do you see? And it's like the one sign says like this way, like towards the star. And she's almost looking at like, are you sure? Because I don't, are you sure? Because I'm not really sure about that anymore. I'm be surprised the seven of cups came up because it is like this confusion. King of pentacles in reverse, stubborn. <sighs> stubborn, stubborn. It's something that like won't budge for you. This could be like a person that just never seems to be available, just seems to be really stuck in their ways, just won't be flexible with you, like work with you, right? This could even be like a boss, perhaps this King of Pentacles energy, just really stubborn, won't hear you out, won't listen to your um, wanting to negotiate terms or, right? It just, it just feels like, they're showing me like, um, like a doorstop, like a doorstop, um, like something that just, it just won't budge. It's just like a really tough energy. It's just a really tough energy that it doesn't seem like it will, it will budge, it will move. Hmm. I saw the, I didn't pull it, but I saw the six of pentacles. I saw the six of pentacles um, in reverse. So again, that's part of that injustice energy. Being like, I put so much time in, like, I, really nothing, nothing. I like feel the, the disappointment coupled with like not wanting to be ungrateful because it feels like if I show any form of like a lack of gratitude for what I already have like the universe could take more shit away from me like I don't even right it's like that kind of thing it's like feeling super unsatisfied and disappointment with kind of like the state of affairs but afraid to even like express any kind of complaint or concern to the universe for fear that they will just take more away things will just get slower you're like i know saturn's going retrograde i don't need this shit i don't even make my my problems worse saturn pentacles in reverse that's that title right that's that title this feels like left with nothing like left with nothing which is weird because you're not left with nothing Maybe you are. I don't know. But the Ten of Pentacles is legacy. It's your namesake. It's generational wealth. It's what you leave behind um, for. And see, it's even like I feel like I'm just like, I'm like poking myself. It's like nervous. It's like nervous energy that you have. Like you got punked or something. Like, I think God is Ashton Kutcher and he has just punked me. Like, I'm not really sure what's going on. Ten of Pentacles talks about generational wealth, abundance, community, family. It's the whole thing. Um, but also your legacy and your namesake and what you leave behind and how people know you and how they remember you after you're gone and just feeling a little bit like it's like a wash. Like it's just a wash at this point. Thinking that in some, somehow your, your path that you've been divinely guided on was actually your detour. Does that make sense? 
Hmm. Seven of Cups. What did I say? Feeling confused. Feeling really confused. For some of you, this is about love. Some of you, this is about love. Um, with you coming up in reverse, not quite feeling like yourself, feeling burdened. Um, not really feeling as though your intuition can like help you on this one, help you on this one. And then she is pulling the the cup or she's looking at the cup that has a little heart on it, more of that loving energy. It could be about things that you love to do, right? Something like a like a passion project. A lot of you, this has to do with like creative endeavors. You try to, you're, you're like a professional artist, like something, something like that. Seven of Cups talks about confusion. It's almost the idea of, well, if this isn't working and I have to pick something else to do, well, what else am I? Well, I mean, I guess I could get back on the dating sites or, I mean, I guess I could just not date anyone. Like maybe I could go back to work to where I was and maybe I could figure out something else to do. Or maybe I could go back to school or, and then just like feeling super overwhelmed and even more. And then you, and then it feels like your, your higher self, your intuition is just totally tapped off because you're sitting in that vibration of fear, right? Which is like really burdensome. And so you're on the ground and it's like you're reaching for this wand and, and, and the wands, right? The witches, it's, it's how they fly. It's like how they move being so overwhelmed, overstimulated, um, so confused that you, you don't even have the strength to, to reach for your, your chance to have mobility, to move forward. Seven of Swords, sneaking out in the middle of the night. Sneaky, sneaky. She looks scared though. I don't know what you can see on my camera, but close up she looks nervous it doesn't look like oh i just robbed the joint and now i gotta get out of here it's like almost like survival it's like a fight or flight survival instinct it's like if i don't grab this stuff and i don't leave right now like i'm gonna get like something bad's gonna happen in this house again it's that fear vibration because it doesn't feel like she's robbing it and leaving it doesn't feel that way at all it just feels like she's scared it's not safe here and i have to go like, like, if I can't fly out of here, like, quicker movement, right, then maybe I just have to scurry about on foot. But it's interesting because the temperance card is coming out next, which talks about balance. And, and temperance is Sagittarius energy, which rules the ninth house of spirituality and higher learning. And we do have this big flower, blood, moon, full moon, eclipse, moon, all, all the moons. All the moons. Pisces coming up. And... She has like one eye open, but it almost looks like she's winking. Do you see? It kind of looks like this bitch is winking at us. So what's that mean? Pisces is like right in this panic mode. They might throw you a bone, like a little, like to keep you encouraged. Because the way her foot is as well, I, I always say that it reminds me of uh, like a flamingo. And flamingo spirit talks about finding balance, like within transition. So I actually do feel like they may throw you something to like pick your spirits up a little bit. Um, kind of like waste waste some time with you right to get you to kind of stick around like a little bit longer um, in, in order to kind of match up to that divine timing there's something about that and I'm just noticing that there's like books and there's there's cupcakes and there's there's a martini back here like they're just just I don't know I don't know it's really interesting but you do have the eight of swords haha -ha. You do have the Eight of Swords in reverse coming out after that. So again, there is like a little kind of kind of moment that it feels like it's going to come in to help you balance out this fear energy that you're currently holding and take you out of this very limiting um, energy and belief and mindset that you have that somehow you got punked or it's not coming or that your patience isn't going to pay off. Something like that. Because after that, you have the Ten of Pentacles or, oh, interesting. I said that um, you have the Ten of Cups. Which is emotional fulfillment. It is the union energy. It is the community, the family, the feeling at peace, right? And it's actually interesting because where you were before, you were kind of sitting on the edge of the beach. But now you're sitting on the side of a river in like lush green grass. This feels more in bloom, right? And that was the whole purpose of, of your energy is feeling really frustrated, not feeling as though you're blooming yet. And you have the fool in reverse coming after that, which may be that you may actually end up feeling kind of foolish, feeling kind of silly for worrying so much or almost giving up, like not realizing truly how close it was that the frustration and the turbulence that you were feeling was actually you getting ready for liftoff, you getting ready to take off. And then it kind of like 
a wink, right? Interesting, Pisces. Interesting. So I'm going to leave you a reading here because we're running a little long. Um, thank you guys for joining me. If this is where I leave you, I hope that this helps you and confirms what your intuition may have already been telling you. I'm going to keep pulling cards and I'm going to go over to part two of your reading. Um, if you're interested in your extended reading, you have two options between Vimeo, which is just this extended or Patreon, which is all of the extendeds or um, the all the extendeds plus the monthly readings for June that are coming up your choice. Um, we'd love to have you. All of my information for personal readings is also in the description box. I have like my link tree in there. Um, my emails in there, all that good stuff. Until I see you next time, Pisces, stay encouraged. You never know when there's a blessing around the corner or a miracle. Some of you need a miracle. That's just fine. Um, and I love you guys. You stay prayed up and you stay blessed and you stay sweet. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.